Hello students, in this video we will look for a graphical solution for linear equation in two variables. Okay. We have other ways of finding uh, solutions for linear equations in two variables. We, we can find it using elimination method, then we can find it using substitution method or by using cross multiplication method. But in this video we will use a graph to find values of x and y. So our first question in, in this video is find the solution of the following pair of linear equations graphically it says and the equations given are 3x plus y equal to 8 and x plus y equal to 6. We are asked to rewrite and complete the following table. So from the blocks given you can say that we have to plot for three points. So it's mentioned here also in the question plot at least three points for each line on a graph paper. So each of this represents a straight line, both of these. So that means we will have two straight lines that will meet each other at some point and that point will give us solution for X and Y. So first let us begin by actually getting the points. So we can assume any number on the x and y axis to be present. So let us begin with the first case. Okay. So in order to plot, so we have 3x plus y and we'll take it on this side. So for 3x plus y equal to 8, I'll just put it on my left hand side. And for x plus y, all the solutions for different points will be on the right hand side. So for in case of x, we need to choose a value for x. So for a, that particular value of x, we need to find the value of y. So let us take the value of x as 1. So when the value of x is 1, okay, so for, uh, I'll put it over here, x equal to 1, okay, then we'll have in place of x, we substitute it with 1 plus y equal to 8. That will give us 3 plus y equal to 8. 3 will go under this side and become negative. 8 minus 3 is 5. So we get y equal to 5. So as soon as we get this, we fill the first blocks. Okay. So when x is equal to 1, y becomes equal to 5. Okay. Now let's take x equal to 2 and see what we get. So we take it over here x equal to 2 in this case 3x so x instead of x will get 2 y 8 3 2 is a 6 6 plus y equal to 8 6 goes on the other side become negative 8 minus 6 is 2 so when x is equal to 2 y is also equal to 2 and what we'll do is we'll take x equal to 3 and see what we get so x equal to 3 3 3 3 into 3 so wherever there is x we need to substitute the value of x which we have assumed 3 3 is a 9 9 plus y equal to 8 9 goes on the other side becomes negative 8 minus 9 will give us minus 1 sign of the greater number. So greater number will be 9, which is negative 9. So we get y equal to minus 1. So we put over here y equal to minus 1. So in this way we have got three points and now we need to plot those points on the graph paper. Before we do that, let's find the solution uh, for different values of x and y. Okay, so let's begin with x equal to 1 and let's see what we get so for x equal to 1 so instead of x we'll put 1 plus y equal to 6 so I'll put it as 1 plus y equal to 6 1 goes on the other side becomes negative 6 minus 1 is 5 so when 1 x is equal to 1 y is equal to 5 now we'll take x equal to 2 so when x is equal to 2 instead of x we put 2 plus y equal to 6 so there's no need to repeat this step 
but just so that you understand it better as to where we got these numbers from I put them in brackets so 2 goes on the other side becomes negative 6 minus 2 is 4 so when y so when x is equal to 2 y is equal to 4 and we'll take the last one equal to 3 x is equal to 3 and instead of x we put 3 plus y equal to 6 3 we take on the other side we'll I'll repeat the step 3 we take on the other side it becomes negative and 6 minus 3 is 3 so when x is equal to 3 y is also equal to 3 so as required by the question we have got three points for both the equations for x and y now let us plot these points on the graph okay so we begin by plotting a graph so i put this on a piece of paper so it becomes easier for us to plot the graph so these are our points now if you have a look the highest we have is 5 so we need not worry where is our center on this graph paper let's just draw an x-axis and sorry an y-axis and x-axis So this becomes our y-axis mark it over here and we'll construct an x-axis Either side we have got y and x axis and we'll mark this as x axis. Now when it comes to marking we'll mark them this will become your zero coordinates so zero comma zero and this will be positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, we don't need to mark any more, over here also we'll mark 6, so 1, this will be 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Similarly, we'll mark it over here. So this will be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. And on the x-axis, we'll have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and negative 6. Now, to plot the graph, let's begin with the first line that is 3x plus y equal to 8. So, when x is equal to 1, where is the x-axis? Out here. So, when x is positive 1, which is over here, y is equal to 5 so when x is equal to 1 y axis is equal to 5 so if you bring it from here to here and if we plot two lines it, they will meet over here so let's 
put a dot and we'll circle it that's our first point in case of the second it is 2 comma 2 so it's 2 comma 2 which means 2 on the x-axis and 2 on the y-axis so they should meet here then you have 3 on the x-axis and minus 1 on the y-axis so remember y-axis negative is here x-axis negative is here so negative 1 on the y-axis is here and it is 3 on the positive 3 on the x-axis which means it meets over here okay and mark this point once we have marked the point let us construct a line that passes through the three points make sure the line is long this way and we write the equation this is equation of which line we need to write the equation which is 3x plus y equal to 8 so I'll just write it over here 3x plus y equal to 8 now in the second case which is x plus y equal to 6 when x is equal to 1 which is over here positive 1 y is equal to positive 5 so that will also come here so we need not mark that it's already marked when x is equal to positive 2 y is equal to 4 when x is equal to 2 y is equal to positive 4 so which means it will come over here mark this line and when x is equal to positive 3 y is equal to positive 3 so that will come here so we've got 1 2 and 3 now we need to plot a graph that we need to plot a line that passes through the three circle dots or points this way okay and once again we need to mention the equation of this line and the equation of this line is x plus y equal to 6 so I make a note of that over here so x plus y equal to 6 now in order to find the solution for x and y we forget that at a point where the two lines intersect okay so where does it intersect it intersects over here where y is equal to 5 and x is equal to 1 so this is where it meets so we can actually draw a dotted line this highlights the meeting point or the solution of the two equations so that will be you can say x comma y is equal to 1 comma 5 so in other words the solution of this two equation is equal to 1 comma 5 there is something that we need to mention we need to mention the scale which means we need to mention how much is one unit equal to on x-axis and y-axis so we'll make a note of that over here on x-axis one centimeter equal to one unit and on 
y axis 1 centimeter is also equal to 1 unit okay this is 1 centimeter and we have taken it as 1 unit so every centimeter we have one one unit being added up so it goes for x-axis as well as for y-axis but we need to mention and this is our scale hmm? we also remember to always mention y-axis and also your x-axis and also the zero coordinates over here that is the origin remember this is the first quadrant and in the first quadrant both y axis and x axis are always positive this is the second quadrant in which the x axis is positive but y axis is negative in the third quadrant which is opposite to the first quadrant both x and y are negative so in the first quadrant both x and y are positive the opposite of that both are negative and this is the fourth quadrant in which the x axis is negative but y axis is positive exactly opposite of the second quadrant where the x axis is positive and y axis is negative okay so this is how a graph is drawn and this is how we get the equation solution for x and y using a graph in fact if you have a look at the solution you can find out from these points itself where the solution will be you may have to look at the common points between the two and if you have a look it will be mentioned over here one when x is one y is five in this case and here also you have a similar points for x and y which tells you that this is their common meeting point and this will be the solution for x and y so you can always have a look over here as well to find out this before you draw a graph this will give you an idea what your x and y will be okay so you can mention in your problem x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 5 okay for the above linear equations okay with this we complete solution to the first problem thank you for watching